In 2016, Ali Lilly applied for a license to explore the drug terazaptide in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. It wasn't conceivable then that it could potentially be a game changer both for treating type 2 diabetes as well as for obesity and weight loss. A number of publications have now appeared some in very prestigious journals such as New England Journal of Medicine, assessing the role of Monjaro in type 2 diabetes but also comparing it head to head with Ozempic, a pharmac pharmacological name semaglutide, which currently is one of the most popular treatments for weight loss. Let's see what these trials have shown. Monjaro is a novel compound which is both a GLP-1 and GIP agonist. Glucagon-like peptide and glucagon insulinotrophic peptide whereas Ozempic is GLP-1 agonist. It acts by increasing insulin, decreasing glucose, impacting glucagon, having a central effect on the brain, slowing down stomach and affecting appetite. All of these then combine to give its effect. How is it given? It is available as a once weekly injection, which is very similar to Ozempic. However, Ozempic is also available as a daily injection or more recently as tablet. The trials have shown that a weight loss of 16% was achieved with Monjaro. And in this sphere, Ozempic was clearly inferior in all of the various groups according to body mass index and whether or not patients were diabetic. In terms of diabetes control measured with glycosylated hemoglobin also known as HbA1c yet again Ozempic was shown to be inferior with better diabetes control being achieved with Monjaro hence the weight loss and diabetes control in very tightly controlled trials Monjaro was a clear winner what about the side effect the side effects of both of these compounds was very similar common ones being nausea vomiting diarrhea and stomach pain both of these medication are not recommended for patients with middle thyroid cancer or neuroendocrine tumors and they have some rare, some rare side effects in terms of pricing yet again both are comparable and as yet the price can be a big factor of accessing these treatments for the majority of the patients unless they have insurance in the United States or in other parts of the world. One last bit of warning, these medication ought to be taken under physician supervision to ensure that the appropriate patients take the medication and then they are monitored to assess for side effect compliance and reduce side effect. This completes this brief video. If you have any comments, please do share.